I'm Mark Mapstone. I'm an associate professor of neurology, and I'm a co-director co of our memory care clinic. So memory is a, is a funny thing, and most of us have a misconception about memory and think that it's a single uh, process or it's a single thing. Uh, we think you either remember or you don't. Uh, but the thing that I'd like to emphasize is, is really memory is a process. It's, it's, a, it's a set of events that you do in your brain and with your brain. So it's not one single thing. Memory uh, requires that you do three different things. Uh, you need to encode information. And encode means you've got to pay attention to it. Uh, you can almost think of memory as a filing cabinet. And encoding is taking the information that you want, the file, and putting it into your filing cabinet. Imagine if um, you never put the information in the filing cabinet, then when you go to look for it, it's not going to be there. So encoding is a critical, critical uh, feature of memory. The second stage of memory processing is storage. Um, and some people also call this consolidation. So storage, if we think back to our filing cabinet, is the ability for it to remain in the filing cabinet. So when you put that file in there, uh, that it stays there and it doesn't get up and walk away or something, no one else takes it. The third step is retrieval. And retrieval is the ability to go back to the filing cabinet and pull out that file that you need. So those three steps are really critical. So there are certainly uh, some very good strategies for enhancing memory. Um, some of the things that I like to use with my patients, for example, are using mnemonic devices. And these are, it's just a word to, to say that we're using strategies to facilitate memory encoding and retrieval, successful retrieval. There's a whole host of mnemonic strategies that you can use, but there's some very simple ones that are helpful. For example, in remembering the name of someone that you've just met. One of the things you want to do is you want to repeat the name. Uh, as soon as you've met somebody and they introduce themselves and give you their name, you want to say something like, hello, Bob, very good to meet you, when you shake their hand. You want to use their name a lot in conversation. So, Bob, tell me again about that event that you were talking about. And then when you leave, uh, say, goodbye, Bob, it was nice to meet you. Repetition is very, very important. The more that you repeat the name and can make that association with the face, uh, the more likely that uh, paired association is going to stay in memory for you and you'll be able to retrieve it when you meet uh, Bob again on the street. So there have been a number of uh, recent studies out lately looking at the impact of technology and uh, technological assistive devices like GPS, um, iPhones, PDAs, uh, things like this, and, and, and there's the question of um, whether it's making us dumber. Um, I, I find it kind of funny because um, my answer is no, I don't think it is. Uh, I, I think that probably uh, folks had these arguments when uh, writing was developed and we moved from oral traditions to written traditions. Um, did people think it made us lazier because we could read them? Probably not. Um, uh, in books, the development of books and the printing press and making uh, reading and, and books available to the masses. Really, I see this as an extension of those sorts of developments in technology. And the question of whether it's making us dumber is, uh, is I think, kind of funny because I think it, what it does is it frees up our brain uh, to do different things and, and more uh, efficient things. Uh, with, with, these, with the way that memory works, um, we don't always have to uh, keep things at, uh, in our own memory banks uh, to use them. And, and nowadays we can use devices to help us with that. And I think that what that does is frees up our brain to do other things. Um, more fluid things, like processing in integrative activities, taking bits of information and putting them together. Um, I think this is what these devices allow us to do, and, and I think it's a good thing.